Hey everybody, Sponge Murphy here and welcome back to the latest Road to Gullum and Painting Challenge update video. So the goal for this video was to finally start painting up some of the terrain that came with Warhammer Conquest. As I said in the video a couple of weeks ago, I'm going to be doing it, I think kind of every third or fourth video, something like that. Because the terrain is too nice just to leave on the shelf there, it needs to be painted up. So for today's video, I have two of the containers painted up. And make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video to see what's going to be painted for next week's video as well. So enough talk, let's switch down to the table view and have a look. Alright, so here we are, we have two of the containers all finished. One red one, one blue I just thought, just to mix them up a bit. Um, now a lot of, it was very different going back to painting terrain after painting so many models. One of the things I didn't do what I should have done is taken my time a little bit more because I put on a bit too much paint at the start and it really showed but it kind of worked out a bit when I put over the shade and covered over some of the details a little bit better. So for the next one, well I have only one more of these left so for the next one I'll have to slow it down instead of just like, throwing on like two thick layers that I did I should have just really slowed it down a bit and put on uh, two or three thin layers. Because I haven't painted terrain in so long, really long time. Um, but these are full of detail, I really like them. The only bad thing about these is you, that you're going to be moving them along on the bottom. I have the bottom painted. But some of that paint is probably going to be getting you know chipped off or scraped off or whatever. But like as I said, there's a little bit of detail in them. You have like the skulls here and um, the vents here which I went over with silver. You have the lights. Which I got done up here kind of a dim yellow Look on them there you can get a better look Um, There is guns for the top of these. I just couldn't find them They're in a box with the conquest stuff somewhere But I'll probably get them all painted up for the last one Um, other than that There's not really a whole lot in this what I did was I went over with the base colors McCraig blue um, a fist on red and null and oil wash over the recesses uh, well, another oil wash over everything, but especially in the recesses. But some of it did uh, pool up a bit too much, like right here in this one. It's very pooled up there, but it was kind of this industrial, grimy, dirty look that I was going for. So it does kind of fit in a little bit. So I'm not too disappointed in how it turned out. But other than that, I think I just dry brushed some Necron compound. Because I was wanting to try it for the first time over some of the edges just to kind of give the chipped metal look. Um, but it's very, very faint. It didn't come out too well. But as I said before, these are going to look great for pictures and everything. Because if I put these reavers in front of them, like if I wanted to take pictures of the reavers or something, it's nicer to have some actual proper terrain in the background. And then when I get more of the terrain, like the cases and all these other stuff, and the ammo boxes to go with this, it's going to look way nicer. So that looks way cooler instead of just having like a plain background for the reavers. And the good thing about these as well, you can stack them up. So there is three of these, so you can stack two up like that. The kind of grooves fit into each other. And you can pile them up like that even if you wanted it. That's going to be pretty cool looking as well on the battlefield. So let me know what you guys think of the containers. Um, I got a bit of a rough start with putting too much paint on them. But overall they turned out really well. Um, they're going to look great for photographs and on the battlefield and everything. And I'm really happy to, ha to start having the terrain finally painted up. And I'm looking forward to getting through some more of it. So for the next update video... Uh, I'm going to try and do an HQ model, which is going to be this guy. Now I've made somewhat of a little bit of a start on this guy. This is, I'm pretty sure it's like a captain model. From, he's from the Betrayal Calc box. I think he, there we go, I finally got him in focus. Um, he's from the World Bears, but I'm going to be painting him up as Ultramarines. Uh, very cool pose, I love his armour at the front. The, the chest piece here is really nice looking. Uh, the armed weapon, the close combat weapon is okay, I'm not mad on it. I like that he has a pistol, it's like a very, like a basic look model with just nice armour. The pose is simple, he's just holding a pistol with a hand weapon in the other one. Um, a little bit decorative, but that's okay, it's the nice kind of decorative. Cape, of course, is always nice to have with the backpack over it. So I'm really looking forward to getting this guy painted up over the next few days. So, let me know what you guys think of the containers. If you guys liked it, make sure to hit the like button. 
Uh, leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't. And once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next video.